nothing lasts forever. Keep this in mind when your times are tough. Keep this in mind when your times are great. Never think that your current condition will always be the same as it is now, whether great or terrible. If we dig deeper, you'll realize that even our hormonal background is always changing. That is why we have different moods at different times of the day and even seasons. Here's the real message in my sharing this week. Listen to this. Listen to this. You don't want to miss the key message. One, whatever your situation is now or at any time in life, it's important that you keep learning from the good times and the bad times. Two, be proactive in maximizing your moments every day by taking advantage of the learning achieved from the good, the not so good, and even the bad each day. You see, we all only have the same 24 hours per day. No one has more or less. It is in how we utilize our own 24 hours that our tomorrow is better. I get it. A typical day is filled with lots of activities, issues to resolve or handle for people, and most importantly, life to live. The fast nature of the modern world pushes us to want to complete so much in 24 hours. What is required, however, is to be clear on your life goals and or your purpose. Then allocate your time each day to prioritizing what speaks to your own goals and purpose. If you ask me, there are five key areas that our focus should be on. As inspired by my coach and wife, Coach BC, and these five are family, fitness, finances, faith, and flourish. She calls these five areas my five alive, the curriculum of life. My five alive, the curriculum of life. Here's my daughter, Angela Olua, breaking the five alive down ever so well for us. Just watch. Now this is something that's going to be personal to everyone. Not everyone's going to have the same diagram as me. But what I need you to do is draw a circle. This circle represents pretty much your fullness, everything about you. And draw five spokes or lines from the center to the edge. It doesn't have to be equal. Remember, we're looking for harmony, not balance. The center of this circle or pi is going to represent zero or it's going to be zero and the end point of each line is going to be 10. So we're making a scale from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On each of these components, you're going to rate yourself. Where do you think you stand right now in terms of your level of fitness, mentally, physically, and emotionally? I mean, I would say maybe a three. Where do you stand in terms of family, your primary relationships, your love relationships, your blood relationships, and your friends? And you just put a note of where you think you are right now. This is just to give you an idea of harmony versus balance. This is what balance looks like and what everyone tries to tell you you can achieve. Putting your best into everything and surely you will succeed. This is the reality of life. You have pressures, you have external situations, you have a lot that you're dealing with. You cannot achieve balance, you can achieve though so how do you get from where you are to where you really want to be now this is where your vision comes back into play my fitness might be three but i actually feel like i could do with a six and when you're planning this you're not planning it because of your wishful thinking you're talking about what really matters to you when i'm putting fitness as a six it means i know i'm having a little bit less time for all these other components so i really need to say maybe i can't do a six maybe i can go with a five for fitness with my family, I know my relation, I know my relationships. Really, I don't have any more time during the day to take up any more calls. So we're leaving that as a five. In terms of flourish, time management, stress management, anxiety management is still a big issue for me. So I need to put in more time investing in my personal growth and my business growth. So I'm going to increase that a bit into eight. It used to be at three. Imagine. About faith, again, same thing. I put it wherever I think I want my faith to go to. And lastly, my finances, I think I have enough time to invest that. Now, there might be some growth or some visionary growth in some areas. Some areas might remain the same. Again, still all you achieve is harmony and never balance. Now, 
This shaded area here represents me trying to live life in harmony. It's not a perfect circle and I'm okay with that. Right, so now that you know how to make a big picture for yourself, you know that you can then put specific goals towards that vision. For example, I said Angela wants to be an amazing artist. One of those goals to achieving that vision can be Angela needs to have completed five hours of training time in illustration. That's me measuring that goal. I might even say by the end of next week. That's another measurement of that goal. Now, what is my plan to achieve any of those? It is, I'm going to make sure that every day I spend at least 30 minutes working on illustrations. By then, I'd have accumulated my five hours by next week. Can you see how I've used my plan to achieve my goals to then work towards my bigger dream? That's just one goal out of all the numerous goals I have. How do I keep the rest of my goals in check? By keeping everything in harmony. If there's ever a time you're feeling burned out or you're feeling anxious or you're being stressed, think about what your priorities are. Knowing that nothing lasts forever, please focus on these five areas each day. Again, family, fitness, finances, faith, and flourish. Focus on these five every day. And then go through each day, leaving tomorrow to take care of itself. The future, though uncertain, is a gift waiting to be unwrapped. Our daily decisions and deeds add up to the brightness of the future we desire. Enjoy the moment each day. That's all I do. Remember, life is like a camera. If you don't like the picture, take another shot. Just take another shot. My name is Olusoji Oyawe, and I seek to enhance the capacity of anyone that I come across. Please let me know in the comment section which part of this clip resonates with you. Or simply share your own perspective to enrich the discussion. Nothing lasts forever. And if you require my services, you can reach me through my email, info at sojioyawoye.com info at sojioyawoye.com info at sojioyawoye.com or if you prefer by whatsapp but chat only plus two three four seven zero four three six six seven six zero seven plus two three four seven zero four three six six seven six zero seven i look forward to hearing from you thank you and until i come your way again next week have a wonderful week ahead and stay safe. Bye-bye.